Day Baseball coming your way here on a Sunday afternoon from Tropicana Field. Today we wrap up this four-game weekend series between the Houston Astros and the Tampa Bay. Ryan Yarbrough gets the ball for the Rays in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? We're looking at one of the top pitchers in the league right now. Solid win total from last year, and he'd like to win a whole bunch of games in this new season. He's a good pitcher, and he normally pitches good at the beginning of the season, and he rides that storm out all the Leading way to the, the end. It'll be Houston. interesting to see what kind of start he gets off to Jose. this year. Here's the Altuve. second baseman, Jose Altuve. He will lead this one off today. First pitch on its way. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. And guys, the Rays, as they begin play here this afternoon, they come in in a real funk to start the year. Still searching for what's been an elusive first win. Yeah, Matt, if it hasn't been the best of times, d -Roll. they've lost the first three games of this set at home. And the last thing you want to do is to get swept in a four-game series at home. You need to win this one. Yeah, it can't happen. Exactly. Can't get swept four games in a row on your home turf. Watch for the manager to make – he's going to make moves, and he's going to make them quick. I don't know what they're going to be pitching, hit and run. Something's happening today. Ready with the runner, first runner, pitch. Runner. Here it comes. Pitch inside the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. The 1 0 delivery. Runners on his way to third. In there. Now the throw. It's wide and he's in there with the stolen base. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. Altuve, the runner at third with no outs. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. The one two takes this the other way to right. Catch made here in medium deep right center and the runners breaking from third and not in time as the run scores. Boy that this one looked like it was headed for extra bases off the bat zero. instead a line drive bullet caught in the alley but he does end up getting a sacrifice fly. In now Ty Cobb. Here's a pop up now. Throw in time at first for round number two. Now here's That's a look at the Astros starting the lineup. Baseman. Mark, how do they go really? about breaking out the brooms on the road? Yeah, Maddie, this team poses a lot of problems offensively. This is a scary lineup because they can beat you in a variety of ways. Not only do they have power in the middle of the order, but a ton of speed that can put some serious pressure on the defense. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. You'd think they'd the stop pitching to this guy by now. He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over, so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. How about that for making something happen? First, he rips a double. Then on the very next pitch, he swipes third, just showing what kind of offensive weapon he can be. Astros center fielder ahead with a 2 0 count. That was one of the easiest takes he'll have all year, and it puts him in a great hitter's count. He's got to take advantage of this situation. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. And that is off the wall in right field. And that'll score the run from third as they go up 2 to nothing now. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. The right field. Now at the plate, Vladimir, Vladimir Guerrero. And Houston Guerrero. looking for more here in just the opening frame of the game. First Vladimir. offering on its way. And now the runner's trying for third. Pitch outside. The throw is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. Two outs here with a runner at third. Hard ground ball to third. 
and he goes to a knee to try to knock it down but it's by him down the line and that'll bring home run number three it's now a three nothing cushion that is that wow what that, that base hit d roll that's 18. career rbi number 1500 and guess what he's nine away from the mick yeah that guy the mick mickey mantle of the yankees that's crazy to even digest, Dan, to be honest with you. I, and what this guy's been able to accomplish from the offensive side in his career, I hope he can step out and take a bow here for a second and let these fans love on him. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the and first. Up for the red. Fastball in base there base. for a called strike. Joey. Fellas, taking a look at these Astros entering play here this afternoon. It's so far so good as they enter play 3 and 0 on the young season. Yeah, Maddie, this team is beaming with confidence right now. 3 and 0 on the road trip and looking for a four-game sweep. That does not happen often in this game. Now a moment here in St. Pete for a glance at the Rays' starting lineup. Dero, what's your take as they look to end their losing streak? Well, Matt, I'm looking for someone to step up right now. Down three runs. Someone's going to have to hit a gapper with runners in scoring position. It all starts with the leadoff guy. Find a way to execute and get himself on base. See if they can get a rally start and get back in this. One ball, one strike to count. Line toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. I mean, that fires me up right there. Opposite field knock, and in today's game, good. where every manager no is employing oh, hundreds of shifts to watch this batter yeah. go the other way was special. Fam with an even one and one count now. Ah. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. And here's a fastball called for strike one. A ball and a strike to Mike Zanino. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. That straight smoke at night. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. So no runs on a hit here, no errors. One man left on. On now. Standing in, Carlos Correa. For the Astros. One of the keys to securing a win. They want Carlos. to keep the pressure on and try Correa. to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Adama scoops it up. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Okay, here's how the race set up on defense today. And guys, what I want you to focus on today is this is one of the new age teams in the game that really rely on statistics and the numbers. And the numbers tell them that they're a better team defensively, moving guys around and shifting as much as they can. Into the box, Jose Altuve. He singled to start the ball game and later came around to score the game's first run. Throw on to first, a three-pitch inning. Leading off the inning, Avisail Garcia. The they'll look to get something Avisail. going here and even this game Avisail. up. Strike one to start the at-bat. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Oh, I love this, boys. Mano y mano. He's coming to get him with back to back big time heaters. And it's fouled away. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. Nope. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. One and two. 
swing and a miss on the fastball and that's the first out. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The designated hitter. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Popped up. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Now to play, Kevin Kiermeyer. First pitch on its way. Kiermeyer. A big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. Fouled off. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Lofton is in pursuit. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Next up for the Strohs, Ricky Henderson hit it hard but lined out in his Number first half bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. Kiermaier patrolling center makes the play one out. Number zero. One out now in the Houston third, and here comes the Georgia Peach, Ty Cobb. Swing and a liner. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of them hit now on that. the absolute screws. The one's right at one guy, and then one's a single. Yeah. Go figure. Into the box, Willie Mays. A pitch out. The throw. And even a pitch out can't do the trick. He's in there at second. So he swipes second despite the pitch out. Yeah, it seemed like everyone in the building knew he was going to be running there, right? Didn't make a difference, though. He got a great jump and absolutely burned it down to. Now the 2 0. Hard hit toward the hole. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. That makes it a 4 0 ball game. Number seven. Kenny. Settling in now, Kenny Whoa. Lofton. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time steal, around. Steal, steal. Runner goes for second. A pitch out. The throw not in time as he's able to thwart the pitch out. Runner, Runner breaks for third. Pitch outside. Oh the throw. God. Throw down to third is thrown away right down the left field line. And they'll add another as this is now a 5 nothing game. Well, if anybody was wondering why they're losing, there's the reason. When you're given a chance to make a big play, you've got to make it. Or you're going to be on the wrong end of games more often than not. Oh, and he misses it. And a nice job to stay with it that time and get the second out of the inning. Now batter. White two so bases are empty here White. with two gone. And set to stand in the legendary free swinger Vladimir Guerrero. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Sliced hard on the ground to his right. Wendell throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Willie Adamas. He was hitless in the shutout last night. Lifted in the air toward the line and right, and no one will track it down. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Fouled away. The next 0 2. And he fouls this one off. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And this will get through into left for a leadoff hit. 
Well, that's just the case, d -Roll. You've got to make a little bit better pitching base with base. two strikes. Jumps ahead, 0-2, sure. and then a couple of foul balls that on pitch number five, he squares one up for a base hit. Yeah, I can't tell you how nice that feels right there. You battle to get and count leverage and fight to get your A swing off. 0-2, you're almost turned around walking back to your dugout. So that's a nice piece of hitting. He throws him on the fastball there. G-Man Choi is dealt with for the first right, out in the bottom of the, the inning. Joey Wendell will stand in for the second time now as he looks Wendell. at a called strike. It's nothing and one. Oh and two here it is. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Oh I love watching a pitcher that can run a good hard fastball in on a guy's hands and completely lock him up. That's such a tough pitch to do anything with. If you can locate your fastball there consistently, you're going to have a lot of success as a pitcher. Now a swing, and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Blue has got it, and the side is retired. One left for... Ready now, Jason Kendall. We, can we begin the top of the fourth. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hard hit at third. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And a good try to recover that time, but he'll beat it out as he's aboard to kick off the inning. Now back. Stepping in, Carlos Correa. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerned. Meanwhile here, the throw down to second is not in time, and it's a stolen base. Oh and one here it comes hit hard on the ground a second Wendell ranging up the middle and he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Now batting third baseman. Now here comes the Tampa Bay manager out to the mound and he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll exit here this afternoon to a smattering Your of booze after what can be described as really a subpar performance. Tyler Glasno answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Comes set, now the pitch. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. And he is in at third base with an RBI triple. That could prove to be a big run now, in this one, guys. Well, this triple brings in another run. If they don't stop the bleeding quick and start answering back, they're going to have a hill too steep to climb. First pitch of the at-bat. He sends it out to left field. Well hit. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. So a two run shot to left center. First home run of the campaign for him as they have widened this lead to eight now. Into the box now. Ricky Henderson. He swings and sends it on a line to right center. And he couldn't quite get high enough to pull that one down. It's into right center, a base hit. Loud noises right here, fellas. Hey, he's going to have to mix it up a little bit more because they are on his stuff. Stepping in now, Ty Cobb. Pitch inside the throw, and it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Hey, it's almost impossible to throw a base runner out that gets a lead that big, and plus this catcher's not known for having a cannon of an arm. One no pitch on the way. Pitch inside the throw is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Now the 2-0. Smoke the other way. High and deep to left. Bam. Going back on it. Still going back. Gone!
Now batting the first baseman, Willie Mays. Standing in now, Willie Mays. Lined to short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. The center fielder, number seven, Kenny Lofton. Ready once again, Kenny Lofton. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Going to be a tough play. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit. And the side is retired. Riding into the box, Tommy Pham. First time up, he went no down looking. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. I got to believe this is an awesome time for this pitcher to get real aggressive in the strike zone. He's got a huge lead. He knows he can pound and try and polish up his mechanics down and away. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Now batting, catcher, Mike. Fouled off. He go. One out, nobody on. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Henderson has a play, two gone. Up next for Tampa Bay. So here is Avisayo Garcia. Avisayo. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. There is Altuve. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Go in order. One, two, three. Starting to look bleak. Down 10 nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Astros manager A.J. Hinch between innings specifically about his club's offense to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said they're doing an excellent job with pitch selection, meaning they're swinging at the, the right, right pitches fielder. and doing Vladimir. damage with them. The numbers back that up. Five extra base hits on the stat sheet, guys. All right. Thanks, Heidi. First pitch coming. Here it is. And there's a line drive base hit to left field. So the Astros put a man aboard to get the inning underway. Hey, they've obviously locked in on something here. They know this pitcher likes to get ahead, and they've done nothing but be aggressive early in the count. There's another leadoff runner, runner, single runner. to get him going. Runners on the move for second. Pitch outside. The throw. Not in time as Vlad shows his wheels by swiping second. The 1-0. Runner goes for third. Pitch inside. The throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Oh, this kind of goes against those unwritten rules of baseball. They're leading big, so there's really no reason for them to steal third right there. And I'm not sure that was taken too kindly in the opposing dugout. The 2-0. Line toward right center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. The batter, number one, shortstop, Carlos. Oh, so stepping in, Carlos Correa. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Bases are empty, one man out. This is popped up. Barehanded at his knees. Wow. Up next to the Astros. So the two are gone for the Astros Alex in the fifth. And that'll Bregman. bring up the LSU product, Alex Bregman. He's set and the pitch. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. 
And he is in the second with a two out double. When you play with fire, you have to expect to get burned once in a while. He's about as hot as you can get right now. They continue to pitch to him, and he continues to make them pay. Nice double off the wall here. In now, Jose Altuve. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Oh, and it's off target, and he'll be safe at third. The 1-0. Fouled away. Now the one and one pitch. Oh, this ball is hammered out to deep center field. Up onto the porch and gone. Two run shot to straight away center. His second home run of the game as the blowout continues. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. D row some days the fellas walk in with their hitting shoes on, and this looks like no one bad. of those games. Yeah, Number there's a 24. saying going around the dugout right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants a chance to get into that batter's box. And no problem over there at first as he flags this one down. To so they pick up three runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and no one left on base. We're back at Tropicana Field, and let's check in with Heidi Watney. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Okay, thank you, Heidi. The ball and two strikes. One and two, here it comes. And he fouls this one off. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either in there and he's in control 0 2 now and it's fouled away no runs two hits one error in the ball game for Tampa Bay and he struck him out and that's eight strikeouts thus far that's back to back punch outs and he's really no starting to rack them up now guys good I've got eight strikeouts hey, really? in my scorebook for him now so he's got good stuff no balls and a strike to count it's the fastball by him here and he's in control 0 and 2. Hey, this guy is one strike away from absolutely cruising through the first five innings. No need to even warm up the bullpen the way this guy's pounding the zone. The one-two. Fouled off. The one-two. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Down in order. Ty Cobb, he set to lead us off in the sixth Definitely. inning. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. The 0 1 pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Pham has a read on it. One down. Now batting. The first base. So here's the cleanup Willie. hitter, Willie Mays. So far, two for three in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. Mays connects and sends it deep to left. And that's off the left field foul pole. A home run.
the center fielder, number seven, Kenny Lofton. Into the box, Kenny Lofton, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Oh. He's working on a 1-for-3 thus far. The set and the 1 0 -oh pitch. Now that ball is smoked, carrying to deep left. Pham is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. Next for the Astros. Stepping up now, right Vladimir field. Guerrero. He's Vladimir. two for three thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Back up the middle. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One run here on one hit, which was the home run. No errors, and no and one left. G-Man Choi, the next to hit. Right. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck sure. out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. First offering on its way. Second baseman. Fouled away. Window. No runs, two hits, one error in the ballgame for Tampa Bay. Here comes another 0 2. And he fouls this one off. The 0 2 once more. On the ground to third. And there are two away now. The third baseman. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Matt Duffy. He's one for two in the ball game. First delivery to him on the way. And he just keeps rolling along as he starts another batter out with strike one. Hey, you can tell by the look on that manager's face, he's obviously frustrated right now. But it's a long season. You're going to have a lot of ebbs and flows with your offense. Does it? And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will... Emilio Pagan enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit Number right where 15. it is. Emilio. Into the box now, Hard Jason off. Kendall. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. Oh. Deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. Here's Carlos Correa now. Swinging a soft liner. Knee high. He barehands it. And a low throw to first that bounces as he can't hang on. Boy, that's what wheels can do for oh, you, Dero. You can see this right here on this the replay. Perfect. He just simply outruns the white right rabbit. Down. He just outruns the baseball. Yeah, it's beautiful to watch. You know why? Because this is the one tool you can't Better. teach. You can take countless ground balls. You can hit till your hands bleed. But if... And he's in the second safely with a stolen base. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now a ball lined softly down the left field line. But this is a foul ball. Back to back breaking balls. He just missed that one right there. Fouling it away. Do not expect a third. Line towards center field. Kiermaier has to roam straight back but he has it for the first down. We'll stand in again as he looks for home run number three in the ball game. As we flash you back here to his second home run. This was back in the fifth inning as he has the long ball working in his first few at bats. Oh, and it's off target and he'll be safe at third. Now the 1 0. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. 
Yeah, they've been crushing it at the plate all Number game long. Four. As 16 runs on the scoreboard can attest, not much it can say or do on the other side of it. Just have to get over it Let and it get go, after it again go. next time. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw way late, and he's in there easily at second. Altuve leads off second with one gun in the inning. And the runner's breaking for third. And the slider bounces, and that'll get on by. Oh, and the pitch is low, and it won't be dug out, so he's going to take third on the stolen base. And there's a base hit on the line. And the runner from third crosses the plate. The designated hitter, Ty Cobb. And if you remember, I'm sure he does. He hit a round tripper back in the fourth. Feel, feel, feel. And there he goes toward second. Pitch is high. The throw. It's too high, and that might not have been in time anyway. Knowing his wheels, it's a stolen base. Runners on his way to third. Strike taken. The throw. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. Rolled slowly down the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. Three runs already home here. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Well, this inning pretty much has been one to forget for him, but he's still out there. And it's only going to get worse if he dwells on it and lets the frustration take over. Easier said than done, though. Throw will be the first for the second out, but meanwhile, another run is in to score. Not to the out for The first baseman, Oliver Gray, comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other runs that they've run out there in this one. Now pitching for the Ray. Ready with Number the first pitch. Seven. Here it comes. Oliver. Bullet back up the middle. Right. Kiermeyer is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. Score four yeah. times on four hits. Today. No errors and no one left on base. Yeah. It is stretch time here in Tampa. Will stretch with them. Astros lead this one 18 to nothing. You know, we haven't seen that pitch from him in a while, but it looks like he's got pretty good feel for it. If he's going to pick and choose when he's going to use it, he could steal some strikes that way. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Now batting. Pitch on its the way now to Zanino. He's really racked up the strikeouts in this one. And this guy's been victimized three times already today. He and this lineup are clearly having a really tough time picking him up. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A ball and two strikes now. One out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. That misses, and we're even at two and two. And it's late to his afternoon of work, and the longer this at bat goes, the better chance of him making a mistake. But as a guy starts to tire, they're more likely to leave the ball up, but man, he's been good so far. Swing and a high chopper to his right, Mays, and he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Now back. Into the box now, Abisail right Garcia. Over two for him to this point. Garcia. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Lofton coming on. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Now at the plate, Kenny Lofton. He'll start us off in the eighth. The center fielder. Here's the pitch. Hard liner to center field. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. The throw into second. And he is safe at second base as he legs out a double. Some guys just lay back and watch that first pitch go by no matter what. Work the count, make the pitcher waste a few pitches. But when he serves up a fastball like this on the first pitch, it's hard not to go after it. Meanwhile here, the throw to third is not in time, and he's in there safely. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Kiermaier's got a read on it. 
makes the catch but the runner from third breaks for home and he will score on the sacrifice fly. Hey every pitcher likes to have Number some run score for him but particularly when you're throwing as well as he is tonight and he gets another insurance run on top of it. And there's a base hit on the line. Now three for four on the day. He's coming up big in his first major league game. Number one. I think the four thing five. that blows me away four. is not the fact that he went three four. for four, but the way in which he did it. Just look cool as a cucumber in the batter's box from pitch one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. This is the situation where there's a lot of pressure on the infielders if the ball is put in play on the ground. Both the guy at first and at the plate are burners, so a double play is going to be tough. Even getting one out could be a challenge. And that will bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. And he's back in standing. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. It's a two run homer for Alex Bregman. Second home run early in the year as this lead got even wider. It's getting pretty comical now. Their sixth home run of the game, and they're not done yet. They say hitting Your is contagious, please. and apparently that now applies to the long ball. It's looking like Number batting 55. practice out there. Ryan Stanek enters now in a mop up yeah. role, as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Smoke on the ground, left side. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five hit ball game for him here, Number and those 24. don't come along every day. Damn. Stepping in now, Ricky Henderson. Pitch inside the throw, and it's far too late as he steals second with ease. And now the runner's trying for third. Pitch outside the throw. And he is in there. Now the 2-0. Ah, turned it loose on 2-0, but he popped it up over to the right side of the infield. Choi is there to make the catch in the second. Next will be the designated hitter, Daniel Robertson. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Slow roller down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. Up next for Tampa Bay. The center fielder. There's a fastball Tampa. right down Broadway taken for Here a strike. Meyer. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Stepping into the box, Willie Adamas. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. No balls in one strike. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled off. 
a great job just to be able to foul that one off. In today's game, that's what we're seeing. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Down in. Digging in, Ty Cobb. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard toward the right side. And a great start to the ninth as this ought to be extra bases. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. Up next to the Astros. The fans didn't even get a the chance to settle in their seats really? for the beginning of the inning. And he just blistered that ball down the line on the first pitch he saw. Deal, deal, it deal. stayed fair and he's safely on second oh. with the leadoff double. Oh, and he's into third safely with the stolen base. Rounded back up the middle. Wendell on the grass. Throw from a knee is too late. And that will be an infield single. Striding in. Kenny Lofton. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. He is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Here's the pitch. And look out as that one ran in and got him. So striding forward now, Vladimir Guerrero. A couple of singles for him in four trips for him this afternoon. He's going from the stretch. Now both runners on the move. That's a strike to throw down. Not in time. He's safe at third as they pull off the double steal. The 0-1 on its way. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. First offering on its way. Pitch misses low. The throw down is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. back up the middle and that'll get by into center field for a base hit notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate yeah Matt hard to stay focused on the game when the now score back. is this far out of hand especially when you're on the losing right. side of it even as broadcasters it can be a little bit challenging to stay fully dialed in in there now the throw way late and he's in there easily at second Hit high and deep to right center. Kiermeyer giving chase. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll make it up to third on the fly ball as he's in there now with two away. So digging in now, Alex Bregman, although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. Hot shot on the ground is short. Throw on to first, and an important pitch there as they get out of the end. Three runs on three hits, no errors, and a man left. Ready for Leading another off. chance? G-Man Choi starting things for his side in the ninth as they Choi. face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. So he got him swinging. G-Man Choi is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Second baseman. Joey. Bases are empty. One man out. High in the air out towards shallow right. Guerrero is over. He's got it and there are two down now. 
digging in once again. Matt Duffy, he's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. A ball and a strike. Two out, nobody on. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. And he'll put this one away for the final out. And the Astros have claimed the fourth consecutive victory here as this ball game is over. 24.